In this video, we're going to be discovering what a pentascale is on the white keys. It's a simple concept. Basically, we have five fingers. If you put a finger per white key, like this, C, D, E, F, G, or here, F, G, A, B, C, or D, if you put this hand position, either right hand or left hand, one finger per white key, you are in a classic white key pentascale position for the hand. The hands won't always be in positions like this, but when you're first starting out, it is a good thing to know. So a C pentascale position would be like this, and I can play up and down the keys of the keyboard. I could do it in the left hand. I could be in the D position. I could be in D position here. Maybe I take it all the way down to this D position. I could move up here to the C, D, E, F, G, A position. I could find an A position in the left hand. Here's an A, C, B, A, going backwards through the alphabet, or C, B, A, going backwards through the alphabet. Here's another A position. You can do the two hands together. In the same position. Both are in A position. If both were in C, both are in D. Notice that I'm going in parallel motion, going up to the right of the keyboard or down to the left of the keyboard. Not um, contrary motion. That would be thumbs together, index together. That would sound like this. Now you might like the sound of that, um, and there might be occasional instances in piano music where you're going to do that sort of contrary motion, but by far the most useful to you, and the more difficult, the more challenging, is to move in parallel motion, and that is what gets used the most. So I would get used to going to the left part of the hands to the right and back. G position, C, D, E, F, G. Great, and those are the classic white key pentascale hand positions. Anywhere on the keyboard, B, A, G, F, E, D, C, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, etc.